Good evening, everyone. So we are live here at the uh, Man of the World 2024, and we have with us Miss Man of the World Singapore. Hello, PJ Samson. Hello. 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 I am from Singapore, so this is my national, this is my flag. Um, I'm actually a Filipino who works in Singapore and I'm representing Singapore now because uh, I've been there for a decade already and I've been working as a uh, staff nurse in the major operating theater. And I am proud that I'll be carrying Singapore flag here in the in Man of the World. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of, well, a lot of fellow Filipinos will ask, how did it happen? So can you explain to us briefly? All right. I was chosen to be the Man of the World Singapore in December. So I'm actually, um, I actually uh, forgot the idea of joining a pageant since my last pageant was in 2015. So I thought it was the end for me already. So I started to uh, help out other pageant um, aspirants wherein uh, we handled an uh, event an event last November 2023, wherein we we asked the OFW or the overseas Filipino workers who are who happen to be helpers. So we organized a beauty pageant called Queen of the Year, and uh, a lot of them participated. And I uh, I've been one of the mentors, so I taught them how to do Q and A, how to do some catwalk skills, and uh, yeah. Uh, Regarding to this um, appointment as Man of the World Singapore, it didn't happen in just a snap. It has gone through a lot of deliberation. And um, uh, after the deliberation, uh, my, my national director asked me if I'm still interested. So at first, I was thinking, will I be accepted? So I gave the most, um, what do you call this, the most impossible condition, which is, uh, I'm not a, I'm not a Singaporean. I'm not a local. Then um, my, my um, organization told me like, you are residing in Singapore, and the community accepted you. And Singapore is a multi uh, multi racial country, and why not? So from that point of view, I thought that I could represent Singapore in the best way possible that I can. And uh, after they announced and they, after all they deliberated that I will be the man of the world Singapore, I asked my, my handler, my, my national director, the organization, um, after hearing the news, should I cry now or should I jump of, uh, of rejoice, jump and rejoice? Because I really don't know how to feel. And it was like, oh my God, this is really happening. And from that day on, I went back to Philippines to join my family. I asked my mother if I'm... If, uh, if she will allow me, of course, I need to ask my parents if she will allow me because my family is quite conservative. So my mother said, just go on, reach your for your dreams. And um, if you really want it, then nobody can stop you from doing your, your, your passion and your dreams. Okay, so um, having gone all those, uh, you know, uh, setbacks uh, prior coming here. So this is the final question. Why should you be the next man of the world? Okay, I think, no, I, I, I really believe that I should be the next man of the world because um, not because of I have struggled with a lot of things, because I know that I am a representation of what a man is, a masculinity with responsibility. So when it comes to responsibility, you must commit yourself to the organization and to all the missions and visions that it embodies. So for me, I have been an advocate for education um, as for myself, I had sent a few people for, to, for their studies also. And I've been supporting um, my nieces and my nephews for their education as well. And for me, uh, education that is not shared is worthless. So we have to share the knowledge to make it worth. So I should be the man of the world to advocate for all of these guys. Okay, so... Um the best of luck to you, PJ. Thank you. So once again, guys, we have with us Man of the World Singapore, PJ Samsung.